हेलो दिस इज माय थर्ड लेक्चर ऑन द फोर्स कपल सिस्टम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी क्लासिक प्रॉब्लम टू गेट द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स एंड इट्स पोजिशन हेयर आई एम शोइंग अ बार व्हिच इज करंटली subjected to number of forces as well as a couple the 400 newton 400 newton a 500 newton and a 50 newton meter force at this point i would like to say that this system is not in static equilibrium please understand this is one instantaneous snap of a body subjected to number of forces i am just want to find a resultant force which will give the same effect which I am getting because of these number of forces. So first you should know that this is not a system which in static equilibrium. We are going to find a resultant force and the position of the resultant force which is going to give me the same effect which I am getting because of these three forces as well as because of this moment. So now how we are going to solve the problem? The rules are same. What is What are the rules? The first rule says that you have to find the resultant force of all the forces. In this case, please remember, there are three forces and one couple is acting. When I am going to get the resultant force, I am not going to consider the effect of the couple. I am only interested in the forces. So first job is to find the resultant of forces. In this case, there are horizontal force as well as the vertical force. So if I will make the free body diagram of my bar, the free body diagram of bar will look like this way. Uh, then, the, or I would say instead of free body diag diagram, what I am doing, I am going to consider the horizontal and vertical component of this force. Instead of having the 500 Newton, I am having 500 sin 60 and 500 cos 60. Now to get the resultant of forces when you are having both horizontal and vertical forces what you need to do first first you have to find the net horizontal force then you have to find net vertical forces so in this case let's uh, this is my positive direction and this is my positive direction if i am going to write the summation of horizontal forces there is only one horizontal force that is 500 cos 60 so i will put minus 500 cos 60 that would be minus 250 newton minus sign says that the net force is acting towards the left direction because this is my positive x this is my positive y the answer negative indicates that the net force at 250 newton force is acting towards the left direction when i am going to write the forces in the vertical direction there are two forces in the downward direction so it will be minus 800 why minus sign because again i am considering upward is the positive and the third force which is acting in the upward direction is what that is the plus 500 sorry sign 60 when i will solve this i am getting a force of 366.9 minus Newton that means this is a force which is acting in the downward direction So now I know that net horizontal and vertical force of 366.9 uh, and 250 So what I need to do I have to find the resultant and how I can get the resultant the resultant will be nothing but the summation of the horizontal and vertical forces and the under root so for uh, fx square plus fy square and under root of this will give the resultant force so when i will put this value if i want to find the resultant force my resultant force will be the 250 square i am not considering minus sign because i know this is square 366.9 square and that will comes out nearly 444 so this 444 newton is the resultant force acting now i need to find the angle of the resultant force as i know that tan theta will be what summation of horizontal vertical forces summation of horizontal forces in this case this is minus 366.9 divided minus 250 as both are negative i know that my resultant will be in the third quadrant if you still have confusion you can see my other videos where i have explained that how you can get the 
exact position of the theta and which is coming out 55 my sorry my theta is coming out 55.7 degree which you will get when you will take the tan inverse so this is my answer so finally i know that this is the resultant force the magnitude of resultant is 444 and the angle is what angle is 55.7 so now my first job is to find the resultant if you will recall the previous lecture there there were only vertical forces so the resultant was just a simple but here the resultant would have both uh, the resultant is the component or the resultant of the horizontal and vertical forces so i have to calculate the r value as well as i have to calculate the theta value after calculating r and theta value again the same thing i don't know from where this resultant is passing maybe within the body maybe outside the body so now what i will do i can assume this resultant force passing suppose this is the position and from here the resultant force is passing i know that this is the direction of the resultant so this is 444 this angle is 55.7 degree this is my 400 newton this is my 500 newton this is my 400 this distance is 500 mm this distance is 400 mm and the angle is 60 degree so now and this is 50 newton meter after considering the resultant again the same thing please recall in this question i am not going to get a force coupled system i am just considering a single force which is going to give the same effect what i am getting because of the three forces and a couple so i am just considering that let's that this is the position of my resultant force which is x distance from this point after getting after just assuming the position of the resultant force now i can write the equation of the moment that means i have to write equation for the right hand left hand side as well as the right hand side and again whatever i am writing for the left hand side whatever rule i am considering for the left hand side the same rule is going to be follows for the right hand side so now where you want to take the moment let's take the moment at this point because i am assuming x from here otherwise you can take moment here here or anywhere if i am going to take the moment at this point and i am considering that the counter clockwise moment will be positive you can take clockwise positive but i am generally take counter clockwise positive so what would be my equation i first write the equation for the left hand side where i am going to consider three forces and a couple and at the right hand side i am going to get the effect of because of the resultant force here also you can cross check the resultant is acting in this way so there will be two component of resultant one which is going to pass from this point another one in the perpendicular to this body and this component will be what 444 sin theta so when i am going to write the equation at this point moment at this point my equation will be what 500 also having the vertical and horizontal component so first i will take the 500 into this distance which is 400 mm so 500 and this is sin component of find sin 60 into 0.4 then the 6 400 into this distance this is 500 plus 400 means 900 mm 0.9 meter so i will write second 400 into 0.9 third is this counter clockwise movement so i am going to put this counter clockwise movement as it is please remember when i was calculating the resultant forces in the beginning i have not considered the couple in the force force equation but when i am going to write the equation for the net moment on the body or the moment balance i am going to consider this moment as i said counter clockwise positive it is counter clockwise so positive this 500 which is acting in the upward direction it is also going to give a counter clockwise effect so it is also positive how i am saying so ignore all the forces just keep your uh, body at this point because this is your point of interest here you are taking the moment and apply a force in the upward direction there will be a counter clockwise rotation so put this counter clockwise so positive when i am applying a downward force here this will be clockwise so i am going to put a negative sign here and again the plus 50 that going to be balanced by the moment i am getting from the resultant force as i am taking the moment at this point and the resultant is acting in the downward direction so my moment will be 444 sin 55.7 degree into x 
and what would be the sign if I am going to apply a downward force at this point and I am keeping the body at this point the force will try to rotate the body in the clockwise sense and my convention says that the clockwise is negative so it will be negative please remember you are going to write the left hand side and right hand side and you are going to follow the same rule for the left hand side as well as for the right hand side so here when I am going to solve this equation I will get my x is coming out something 0 0.37 that means the position of the resultant will be 370 mm towards the right from this body so now I can just compare the two systems either I will apply all these forces or instead of that what I will do I will simply apply a force of magnitude 444 Newton which is passing from this point and distance, this distance is 370 mm and magnitude 444 and this angle is 55.7 so either I will apply these forces or I will apply a single force passing at this point I will get the same effect so in this way I have calculated the resultant force and the position of resultant force thank you